we were gonna meet first. Well, they're actually here. Yeah. Wait, is we it... waited long enough. Yeah, we did. Let's start with Bride of Rhyme. What does rhyme mean, anyways? That's a good question. <laughs> Garbage. Frost formed on cold objects by the rapid freezing of water vapor in cloud or fog. Thanks, dictionary bot. Well, he is a robot. He is a robot. Yeah. All right. She's pretty hot. I'll give her that. I'm pretty sure they're same artist. Man, the, the the profile picture looks so different. I I could, I I will never stop seeing. I could not. I saw a lolly. I'm disappointed. The last you should year, go to the, the hmm? one we saw the sil or keep going until we see the silhouette pose. Mm -hmm. But you guys remember last year? People were like, I swear to God, if we oh this year, people were like, I swear to God, if we see another child bride, I'm I'm losing an IS. And the first time we got bridal Sonic, people were like, wait, hold on, why why is a little kid? Cause she's supposed to be like 12 or something, right? Yeah, that's a bit rough. Yeah. All right, but let's look at her. Okay, number one, I love her gown. It is so flashy. It's not plain and simple. I think Tanif and Sigrun. All right, I'm not, um, it's a bit hey, early we'll to talk there. about We'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. We'll get there. But I think this is so much better. Look, look at the feathers, immaculate. It really, really helps with her flat ass because look at those hips now they look so much bigger because it's the feathers you could definitely see all the, the niffle uh symbols and like design yes don't you mean simple and clean no, no no the other girls are simple and clean this this is elegant all right i love the feathers on her um right below her shoulders because it it just makes her shoulders look so much more hotter she has a really nice collarbone and that look that look. That look that totally says. Jeez, I hope I'm not dead by the end of the chapter. Uh, by the end of the book. That's that's the look. Well, that, that's also the look that's gonna stare many AR players in the face. Oh, that's also that's also looks like ha you silly, silly players, you have you have dancers. Ha 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 ha. I have staff. I have staff, yes. Okay. But um, normal Fjorm actually isn't like the most thick of girls, so this is this is this is a really nice use of her assets because she's actually not that impressive, but she looks super impressive this way. She's not she doesn't have the biggest boobs, but it it, it makes her look really elegant. I I love this. Do you know what I love? What do you love? I'll show you. Oh no, not her feet. No, it's not her feet. Is it shoulders? No, it's her friggin' pinky. Oh what? my god, that's elegant. Oh, I, I could have never predicted oh. this. Pinky up. Yeah, pinky up. Oh. I learned from SpongeBob from an early age. She's classy. If you want to be classy, pinky up. And she's classy. There, there you go. Yeah, she's automatically number one. On the but what about her character. other pinky? Oh, uh, we can't oh, see. No, it. no, it's always one pinky. It's always one pinky. Two pinkies makes you look like a tryhard. You know that, right? Yeah. No, uh, I, I guess so. That makes sense. Mm. But I like her gown. It's like a double layer gown. It must be really heavy. It must come off really easily. Do you think she has wings because she's on a Pegasus? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I love I love I love her design because she's okay. Fjorm Fjorm's pretty cute, but she's not like the most curvy of girls, and this really helps out there. That's a that's the point of wedding dresses, guys. If you really? want to ever I see, like, I like her figure. Yeah. I think her figure is perfect, ideal girl for me. She has a really nice figure. She, she does indeed, but like she's not a thick girl at, at all. This reminds me of a lot of the Asian wedding dresses because Asian girls are often flat. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. Um, I really like her shoes too. They're they're really elegant. They're like elevated flats. I don't I don't I don't know what they're called. Don't look at me. I don't know shoes. Okay. Neither do I. They look more comfortable than heels. Is what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, she has a great figure. The greater bulk at the bottom makes her top look so much more elegant because 
people la naturally fall in love with mountains. You know? And triangles. To the tip we go. Which is her face. Oh, you like the tip? No. What are we talking about? Oh. We're talking about her face. Oh, yeah, I like her face. I mean, yeah. I I'm fine with either one. Alright. Anyway, she has a nice looking wand, too. Alright, moving on. This. This is such a trap. She looks so much smaller in this. Because she's so... She's pushing her chest out so much, man. She's... She is in Maybe. a weird pose. You can see, you can judge by her uh, right foot that she's doing its turn. And this is a, a pose for the camera. I, I bet this person literally, like, looked at wedding dresses and wedding shoots and literally took a picture from one of them and then and then drew Fjorm actually, from that. Now that you say that, now that I think about it, I can actually appreciate this pose a little bit more. Yeah. Because it's a turn, it's a, it's a it's a wedding shoot pose. But yeah, she looks smaller in this, and I totally could not see who it is. They did a great job in picking her for a silhouette, because I could totally, 100,000% no, not see Fjorm. Except for that one guy that called Fjorm. Except for that one guy. Man, there's always those one random people who are like, you're like, you're so funny, there's no... Oh, fuck, he's right. Why is that happening? Yeah, so like often? that guy that says uh, Jafar and Xander. You know, one day he'll be right. <laughs> be right. Yeah, one day he'll be right. Now, oh, no. I've spoken yeah, at length about it. this. You like I the armpit? I like the armpit. You always like the armpit. You, you have no idea how painful okay. waxing is. Would you lick her armpit if you could? No. Wait, why not? Yes. Okay, oh, okay. that's what I thought. I had to think about it for a moment. I, I really like her collarbone too. But no, like, le legitimately, waxing the armpits is such a painful thing. This is why girls don't like to do it. You would have to do it for your wedding. I, Guys, ask your mom about this. Or your girl- well, Oh no. They'll probably be like, why are you asking me this? And then they'll tell you the answer, which is yes, they probably did do it. And then they'll probably tell me to tell you, ask you who, who told you this. And then they'll probably ask you to stop watching me. So never mind. Let's uh let's change our minds here and uh move forward. I like I like her pose actually. It's really elegant. When you stick out your chest, it makes your boobs look bigger and it helps with your figure, which it does. It, she looks so much more curvy. But this actually shows you like I, I like how you can see like all of, like the under part of the dress. Yes. Like her armpits. Yeah. No, not that. Oh. I like Talking her armpits. about the bottom of the dress. Okay, okay let's move on. Okay. I'm done. The, the whatever what is that called on her on her waist that little scarf ribbon thing is is actually super look, nice looking uh, uh what would you even call it like a sash i don't think so Ooh. i don't know but it looks really good the feathers the turn the spin this is a total photo shoot so i i, I like it and there's some sparkles from the wand yeah she's actually legitimately going for a wedding all right but who would she marry guys Reed. Uh, I like where this is going. Mine. I think that would be a nice looking couple. They both have blonde hair. They're both royalty. A prince and a princess. Creed's really tall. She's the official a ship is actually uh, Fjorm and Legion. What? Yeah, you, you haven't seen all the, the Yuri of them? No. Send it to me later. But if, if it's actually, if she actually married Summer, I, I would totally be down to marry, marry um, Mary Fjorm. I'll be I'll be clear. I love I love the lollies, yes. But marrying a lolly is probably a bad idea. I like I like too many Yandere psycho lollies. That's that's a bad idea. And the cutesy ones always make for shitty wives wives. And Nino can't read, so that's definitely a bad idea. And she has your fun. Oh thanks, Francis Zero uh, Garcia 55, 559. Thanks for the sub dude. And welcome to Nimdub. Alright, I I posted one for you. In the oh. stream guess. Okay, thanks. But oh. uh, what I was trying to say is another. Oh, 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 oh. Uh huh. Yeah. I think this is who she marries. Okay, but what I was trying to say was, I'm I'm way too distracted now. Oh. Ah, uh, Ramex, damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, you thought you thought I was joking? Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is Kappa, Kappa Pride chat only. Oh. Uh -oh. Man. Man, that's actually kind of cute. It's, Light Yarn's more manly, so it's, it makes Wait. sense for her to initiate. She, she can't marry her. Why? She's dead. 
Okay, we're they're both, both gonna be dead, dead soon, yeah. so it's fine. Oh, okay, you're right. In heaven, they're marrying each other. That's why it's all white. Yeah, that's actually cute. Oh, 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 man. Yeah, Legar initiates, and I love how like she's crinkling her toes. <laughs> you guys know what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, anyways. Yeah, What's she's that? a she's the player phase unit for sure. Oh. Fjorm is pretty enemy phase with ice mirror, so I think it's it's true to the to the game, you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, but uh, Fjorm, I I I would totally marry Fjorm because she has the nice some of the nicest eyes. I would I would hundred percent love to sleep on her thighs. She perfect eyes. Oh, oh God. Oh blah 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 blah. The, Ooh. Effort. What the heck's been happening? It with Delphia too. The special was just like, I guess we add some sparkles and then we're done. Oh, they changed her expression. What expression change? Look, she oh, went yeah. from happy to oh. oh. Yeah, this is kind of disappointing. You want? You guys want to tell me why Fjorm only has? Three pieces of art. I'm, I'm actually really disappointed by this. This is... They didn't really do anything. They, they didn't pay the artist enough. They didn't pay the artist enough. This is 2.5 drawings. I mean, 3.5 drawings. Alright, moving on. Oh, man. Oh, man. See? Oh, oh no. I actually... I, I will admit this to you guys. Ruth's wedding dresses are hot. Are you gonna rip your bride's wedding dress when you marry her? You know that's actually in some in some some traditions you're supposed to do that. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. That's actually legitimate. In some traditions you're supposed. To... Oh crap! We're under maintenance in DL. Yeah, we have been. All right. Well, you're supposed to do that, is what I'm saying. So, uh, maybe she's gotten married and things are about to happen, or she probably just. No. Oh, no. No. Okay. She, fine. She's in battle. But she's in battle, yes. But look at her, look at her legs. They're so elegant. I love her legs. Her looking forward just shows off her shoulder even more, which is top notch. And her collarbone. Oh my god. She has a hot collarbone. No, search it up, guys. Legitimately search it up. I I can't right now because. <laughs> but search it up. Um. But yeah, I, I like her hurt art too. Yeah, I like when uh, clothes are ripped hurt art. It really makes it look like they're uh, fighting and getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Also, um, you see it in movies too. Brides would rip their dresses just to run better because you can't run in dresses. So, there you go. Oh, now she, she can run better now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. She has such beautiful legs. Alright, moving on. Alright, let's read what she's about. Ta-da! Introducing the second princess of Niffle and a close friend of mine. It's Fjorm. As you've never seen her before, this time she's wearing a wedding dress. Okay. True. At first, I was a little surprised she was getting married already. Wait, she is getting married! But it turns out she's only dressed like this for the festival. Never mind! Uh -huh. I should read entire sentences first. Yeah. Anyways, check it out. Doesn't her dress make you think of the pure white snowscapes of Niffle? It's just perfect, perfect for her. It, it doesn't, but sure. Well, I guess one day Fjorm might be a bride for real. If she doesn't die first. When if that day comes, I just know she's going to look as amazing as she does now. We should probably marry her. Since she'll die anyways. So. Oh wait, they don't know she's going to die, do they? Wait, the summoner knows. I'm pretty sure they do. No, I'm pretty sure did... the summoner knows. She didn't least. tell the trio. Okay, but oh, that doesn't okay. matter. Sharina definitely doesn't know. And it, I, I, I actually think Sharina doesn't know what death is, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, she'll know pretty soon. Well, yeah, pretty yeah. soon she will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That took for that took a while. Is there, that was only our first hero, guys. All right, our second bride is Tatara's pu puppet Delthea. Wow. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong one. Okay, but no, she, she's not oh. available. Honestly, this hurt art sucks so much. I mean, this attack art. Which one is worse, guys? Delthea or Fjorm? Delthea. Delthea. Why? The versus, it looks like there's uh, even less changes. 
I think they just added more purple, purple squiggly lines, honestly. All right, Mr. Pent. Don't we have a Pent in our Discord? Is this is he named Pent after Pent? No, we have a Pen. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Okay. So, I've at many times in my life thought of having a very metrosexual haircut. I've actually thought about wearing hairpins before too. I'm not gay. So I'll, what I'm trying to say is I 100% admire his hair. The fact that he put roses, a rose in his hair. The fact that he has long hair like that. That's really how I like my own hair, personally. It's cut short right now, but after this, I think I'll grow it long again. Anyways, I love how he looks. He looks- I always knew you are a hobo. You look, what? How is this a hobo haircut? No, I always knew you were a hobo. Well, I'm not a hobo. <laughs> how dare you? Where's, hey, does anyone have the Leon gift where he's like super sexy and, and he looks like a beautiful girl, except, you know, it's, he's a guy. Anyways, so, um, yeah, Pen, Pen looks super good. I, I like it. Great eyes, great hair. Um, yeah, he's, he has wine out to drink because he's an adult and don't nobody tell me that's orange juice. I am so fucking sick of hearing it's orange juice. <laughs> It's, it's not orange juice of Kagro. What? What? It, it's grape juice. It's, shut up, it doesn't matter. You get, It's not juice. It's clearly alcoholic. Weddings are for grown-ups, they can drink. Anyways, nice tailored pants. Very elegant. This doesn't really look like something a groom would wear though. What do you think? Uh... It looks fine to me. I'm I mean, not it honestly sure if, looks fine. I'm not sure if uh, that's he what you'd wear for a wedding, he but hot. yeah, he does. Just say it. He looks. Yeah, he looks hot. I, I, I think. No, the, like, no, need, no, no shame in saying that. No. I, I think this is what you would see people wearing. This seems more like for a royal British kind of wedding thing that like generals would wear, or like princes are wear would wear. Like it's super, it's super um, regal. It doesn't look like something like. Uh, Oh, it's definitely like not modern. Yeah, it seems imperial. If that makes any sense to you guys. Yeah, yeah. he he actually is a general, so that makes sense. Mm. The gold trimmings are super elegant too, and yeah, it, the what he's wearing on his shoulders especially is um, I believe it's a symbol of class in terms of. I'm not gonna say it because I'm not sure if I'm completely right. Also, also. You know, usually we do we do the PP check, right? You can't check this PP. You can't check this PP. It's it, he's super. He has such a flat figure. But he, he knows it was so he, massive they had to censor it. He knows you don't show your PP during your wedding day. But look at how big his feet are. Oh. Oh my he's God. That's like size though. twelve. He could crush skulls and baby heads, which are skulls, with his feet. I knew we would get to feast somehow. All right, so we we are. It's pretty clear that Pet is probably massive, cause just like his feet. So we don't really need to see it. We have great indication. Big, big shoes usually mean big socks. No, it means big brains. Oh yeah, big brain. Big brains. Actually, I think his foot might be bigger than his head. Well, you're right. <laughs> you're right. His foot is bigger than his head. <laughs> Oh man, his attack animation is such super a, elegant. Such an elegant. It's like he's cheer cheering the the bride and groom. Honestly, this is like what you see in the Disney movie. Yes. It's like, it's like he's Prince Charming, except he's a maid general. Close enough. Nice trimmings. Super elegant. He looks, he looks perfect. I can totally understand if there are many. Many gay guys right now. But yeah, nice Including bottom. Including yourself. No, not me. How are you oh, like Leon? No. Are you? All right, sparklies, sparkly everywhere. He is literally sparklies. so sparkly. He's created a galaxy behind him. Please tell me this is. Oh wait, I can't can't zoom in more. This is totally a galaxy. You see it, right? He is the center yeah, of yeah. the sparkly galaxy, and he's surrounded by stars. Oh my God. What a man. That's insane. He looks so good. 
See, good attack art. Oh. Oh, is this her? Oh. Oh. What happened to him? Oh. He's, he's not so elegant anymore. You notice how the bottle's perfectly intact? I actually don't really care for this hurt art. Okay. But it feels kind wow. of boring. He's protecting the wine bottle. Oh, oh he's, he's drunk. Oh, or he's drunk, yeah. What do you mean? The cork is still there. I think the oh. most amount of damage is to the side right here. That's it. Like, he yeah. took him on the shoulder. His handkerchief's is super he, elegant. He's smiling? Too. Yeah, he looks like he's still smiling. He is still smiling. Some people like yeah, it. He, yeah, oh. Like you. The masochist. Oh. Admit it. No. Alright. Admit what? Admit being a masochist. Oh, yeah, I am one. Oh, okay. See, there there you go. Anyways, PP not out, but uh, uh, pretty good art. His feet are pretty big. All right, but let's read about him. Fancy fiance. Oh, he has a fiance. Appears in Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade. Yes, our first Fire Emblem game. Whoopsies. There's not a single person in Etruria who doesn't know who Pent is. He's a famous expert in magic who leads the kingdom's army as its maid general. But did you know he is also makes he also makes for a very handsome bridegroom? Oh, he is a, a groom. Bri bridegroom. Wait. Yeah, he's uh, engaged to Louise. Pen is the head of Etruria's influential house, Regle, but while he might be high up on the social ladder, he treats everyone with the same kindness and respect, whether blue-blooded nobles or the commonest of commoners. Nice. And isn't his special groom outfit fantastic? It's like he fell out of a suave tree and hit every branch on the way down. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Oh. No, uh -oh. kidding. Anyways, Pen's a good man who raised the family of his own brave little nobles together with his beloved wife, Louise. AKA, they had much sex. He's a proud father who knows the meaning of love, so if you want a lesson or two about the subject, he's the guy to look for. Alright. Yeah, he has two kids. Louise, the wife of Pent, Count Regley of Etruria. She's wearing a wedding dress to take part in the bridal festival with her husband. Alright, we didn't know that. Because we haven't read it. Uh, Klein, Pent's son. He's a young general serving in the Etrurian army. Like his father, he treats people with kindness and respect regardless of social standing. Clarine, um, incest girl. Alright, let's move on. Oh, yes. we have the whole family now. Yeah, you have the whole family. We do. Alright, Louise, let's go for the wife. Holy shit! Best art? Best art is free. Again, <laughs> art, honestly, this, is, this has been a pattern. This has been a pattern. We bought in Titania. Uh, spring... Loki, um, my brain's dying right now because she's, she's, oh my god, she looks, she oh, Camilla. looks suddenly. Camilla. Oh, yeah, Camilla. Camilla has such great art. She yeah. has such big feet, so that means she has a big peepee. -pee. Alright, but Louise looks so elegant, my god. What the, she's, she has, she has wings too. She has big boobs. Oh. She does. She, she has very big boobs. Nice shoulders, too. They are quite big. You know she doesn't need a flashy dress because she's actually a well-acided girl. <laughs> okay, she looks really beautiful, guys. I love I love her hair. I love that expression. I love the fact that she's, like, cradling an arrow for some reason. Um, nice car bones. Uh, magnificent gown. It's the same style with the feathers. She doesn't need it though. She doesn't need to have a flashy dress because she, she doesn't need the help. Yep, she looks, she looks like an angel. But she's already married, so uh, lay off. I mean, that won't stop some people. Okay. I'm not so sure about this one though. It's not. It's not as bad as Noir, who literally oh, broke. Oh, oh. What? I need you to zoom in on her back. Is this a top contender for best back? Uh, I think I mean, you're air. Competing with air. I think it's a competition so. of air. Chat, Clarice or air? Best back. Is, it, is, it, is Shershi number one then? Wait, Shershi also shows up for. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, God. Don't be biased. Just because you're seeing this first. I mean, seeing this most recently. Clarice? 
Oh, you said Clarice, I think. Oh. Yeah, you, you did say Clarice. Oh, Shershi, I meant Shershi. Okay. I don't know, I, I think I still have to give it to Sir Shershi. I, I just... Her back, it's so memorable. I could grate cheese and it would melt on her beautiful back. And then I would eat that cheese. Oh. Okay. But, um, no, you're right, her back is really... Man, man, angles and bones and stuff on the back could look really sexy and she's got it. That expression, too, is beautiful. Alright. She's, she has a pretty hot back. But wait, wait, is she is she doing archery correctly? No, she's not. You don't want to you want to keep your form straight so you have a proper shot. If you anchor ank if you do that to yourself, you're messing up your entire form and you don't shoot as well or as straight. And she's not really aiming. But I mean, at least she has, at least she has her finger there to try and keep the arrow steady, you know, yeah. doing something right. Also, guys, archery for girls is super a pain in the butt because they can't do the perfect form. Especially when they have big boobs. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. There's been like some talk of whether there have been like cases in the past where Amazon's literally amputated a boob for a better arrow shot. Yeah. I've never heard of that, but I have known that they do get in the way. But they do get in the I way. I know they did that. That's kind of weird. It, it is kind of weird. But um, yeah. Her, her form can't be too good because I think she is of the size of where it's a problem. But she's also turning and her back's arch, which is terrible. Also, God, that's such a turn on. Look below her back. Whenever I see, like, dresses with those bull ties, I just... That's so hot. Oh, okay. If, if, it, was, if it was perfectly well designed, you, you tug on that and her dress falls off. Moving oh, on. Oh, that's why you like it. Wow. I had a feeling. She yeah. also kind of makes a galaxy, but not as well as Pent. Well, she makes like multiple galaxies. It's like a sun. I like Pent's galaxy better. Hmm. No, this is elegant. Does her expression change though? Uh, Bruh. No? Bruh, are you serious? She opens her mouth. Is that what? Yeah, it's like a millimeter. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Hey, it's noticeable, right? That sucks. That sucks. Are you kidding me? There's hardly a difference. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, what's going on with Hurt Art, guys? It's like they haven't been trying at all. Hurt Art? We haven't looked at the Hurt Art. I mean, um, Attack Art. Whoopsies. I read Hurt Art at the same time. Alright, whatever. Hurt Art time. Oh. Oh my god, you can see her figure. Oh, oh. I, I love this artist. Oh. Is that, it because, uh, that wait, ass? Is that what I. Yeah, yeah you can see a little sliver right there. It's, it's her thigh. It's the absolute zone. You don't normally get to see this. My god, my goodness. Kinks ignited. Also, the expression's pretty good, too. I don't know what's happening. I don't actually. I can't tell what that expression is. She's like, "Oh no, my dress!" Or, "Oh no, you're breaking my dress." I don't know. But you see, it's a, kind of more like she heard like a loud noise behind her, and she's like kind of startled. She turned too quickly, and then her dress broke. Yeah. This was made in China. Oh, oh no. Okay. I mean, so since she turned, it just shattered like glass. Yes, but guys, look! Look at her! Look at her feet! Oh, oh. my god! I knew we'd get here again. Look at her calves. It is... Top tier feet. Top tier feet. Oh, thanks for Sir Hawaii for it. Thanks for the fall. Hawaii has fur Thanks for the fall. Okay. I'm sorry. This is no contest. We haven't gone over every hero, but it's, it's over. It's over. I declare, Louise. Best art of these new series of brides and grooms. And, and groom. There's only one. Oh, we have to look at the other two. It's brides. over. You cannot beat this. She's literally showing oh. ass. What am I supposed to do? My, I misspoke. We haven't looked at the other two grooms yet. Gr grooms? <laughs> oh, oh, you are. You are cruel. <laughs> All 
All right. But guys, this is some top-notch hurt art. This is, this is hot. This is sexy. This is another man's wife. We're moving on. Oh wait, whoopsies, we forgot to read stuff. That only makes it better. <laughs> Eternal Devotion, Louise, appears in Fire Emblem Blazing Blade. Louise is well known for her radiant smile and her kind-hearted nature. And her big boobs and nice figure. And I'm sure more than a few people would see her as the perfect blushing bride. Absolutely! Well, here she is in her wedding dress. What the yeah, I didn't know Sharina was lewd. This emote? I mean, this oh, this picture looks kind of messed up. Pretty. She doesn't she look... She kind of looks like a yandere. She looks, yeah, she looks a bit crazy. Alright, nice. This might be a good time to point out that she's already married, so you guys are screwed. Though, her husband's none other than Penn, Count Regley of Etruria, and they're so lovey-dovey that nothing can separate them. Except war. Aww. No, not war. Oh. No, not even war. Aww. It would be a shame, Aww. guys, if you played Fire Emblem 7, the Blazing Blade, and Pent. Pent doesn't make it home. And you have this young, oh. <laughs> lovely widow waiting for you. Oh, the, the thing with Pence is that you can try to kill him, but uh, he, he's just so powerful that he just won't die. Okay. Louise, on the other hand, you know, you can kill her pretty easily. Uh, uh, uh. How about we kill the man? And, yeah, uh, you can take Pent all for yourself. Yes. Yeah, no! I I prefer no! That. Said yes. Wrong said way! Yes. <laughs> Damn it, Amps. Okay. It's you not NTR your... if the guy dies, guys. It's... He's just dead. It's, it's fine. It's normal. <laughs> I wish I could have been there for the wedding. With her golden locks and pristine dress, she looks like a god has come down from the heavens. Alright, seriously, what is with these pictures? These chibi art, they don't look sexy at all. Or hot. It just looks weird. I don't know what expression that is. She looks cuter with her eyes closed. Yes, she should probably not open her eyes. Oh, that's, that's, that's mean. Oh, look. No, you're right. Look how cute she is with her eyes closed. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Together, Louise and Pet made a warm, loving home where they raised some wonderful children. They're almost too perfect. Now, it would be a shame if Pet never came home from the war, wouldn't it? You literally can't kill him. Okay, He's, try and kill him. He's Go that good. I'm sorry. Oh. All right, Pent, Louise's husband. Pent is the head of House Regley of Etruria, and he's also the Maid General of Kingdom's Army. Louise and Pent are taking part in the bridal festival's dresses as bride and groom. That's so cute, because they're actually a couple. Uh, just like Klein and Clarine. All right, let's check out the rest. That's natural. Wait, is this the first uh, groom and bride pairing we actually got, like, on the same, like, seasonal banner? Ah, you're right, because we did have Sheeta. Right, but Sheeta and Martha separated by a year. Yes. We did have Sonicky, and we did have Tharja, but we didn't have... You're right, we only had had one groom, so it doesn't count. You're wrong! You're wrong. wrong. On the same banner, or same series, was Marth and Kateria. The one true couple. Kater she just thought. If only... Alright. Whoops, we're going back to Louise for something. She didn't she didn't deserve him. Well ugh, fine she did. She she without him, Marfa never win the war. I mean without her, Marfa never win the war. But Katria. Katria, my heart goes out to Katria. I think she's the perfect girl. And she 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 probably doesn't wear underwear given her art. Anyways, uh steadfast steadfast bride. Wait, she she's a bride? There's no way she's a bride. Sigrin. All right, so there's something wrong with her face. I'm sorry. I've, I've looked at her face Wait. so many times, guys. I've just, there's, come on. Tell me, please, please <laughs> tell me you see it. It's so, it doesn't look right. Look, it looks here, I think. Right. By being in her attack animation, it looks very manly. Let us just cover her boobs. If you just saw this, would you see a girl? There's something wrong. See, the nose. See, I see part a cross of it. Dude, these days, guy. There's only one way to make sure. Yes, you check for the pee-pee. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you can still be deceived. Yes. It does look like a cross-dresser is my point, guys. It doesn't look 
quite right. It looks like a guy. My trap senses are off the roof. And the worst part is I know who she is because I played Radiant Dawn. She looks so elegant. But why does it feel like it's a guy? That only makes it better. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> also, I, I'm, I'm totally turned on by the... By, okay, ignoring the face. The face isn't that bad, but like it just doesn't feel right to me. But look at look at what she's wearing around her neck. That is so hot. I've always had had a thing for chokers. Yeah, it's like you want to choke someone. Oh. Oh. I guess you're right. Okay, nice boobs, nice oh. shoulders, nice collarbone, nice hair. Just the face. The face isn't right. Uh. By the way, some girls dig it. All right, and then and then, the gold oh. trimmings just accentuates her figure even more and of course under her shoulders like it just i love that design because it just shows the shoulders so so much better it's, it's all, all, do yeah. all these brides share the same design of having these wings i think they went to the same designer yeah are they just are they bridesmaids or, or actual brides because it feels like they're bridesmaids oh that makes sense they're bridesmaids but i think they're bride mm. Does bridesmaids don't have these kind of flashy dresses Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay, I guess you're right. But what she's... The weapon looks so awkward to be in here, guys. It's like, hey, I have a bouquet of flowers. Just kidding. It's a sword. I'm going to stab you now. I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to stab you now. Oh, well, I mean, she's crazy. That's a plus. I mean, I, I do like crazy girls. Except you don't stick dick in crazy. And you don't cheat on crazy. Because you die. Alright, but I like her dress. Um, She is pretty thick. So, Tanith's the one that's super flat. But, I'll be honest, I like Tanith more than her. Because Tanith has a much better personality. She's... I'm, I'm kidding. I'm serious. She's like the big sister. Uh, Sigrun. Um... Is she a cake? What the fuck? What? Is she a cake? Why... Why... Is she standing on that, or is that part of the dress? I think it's part of the dress. What the heck? It looks kind of weird, because it goes under the furthest layer back, right? Yeah. Huh. I, I, I guess we'll see in the next piece of art. Oh. Oh my goodness. You do have- wait a second, that doesn't- oh, okay, I guess- eh. oh. Okay, but she totally has to raise it, too. Okay. <laughs> I see the highlights here already. We're gonna get to the feet. I can't even get past this. What is with her face? You know, maybe if she didn't have that thing on her forehead, maybe? maybe She's supposed she to have better. it on her forehead. I, I know. But, but maybe that's just off. I keep seeing her. Oh no, she has a sonic key problem. Yeah. <laughs> She has a big forehead. Someone's no, come gonna on. edit it off, and then it's just gonna be a really huge forehead. It's gonna look really weird. She has a nice collarbone, at least, and this is very accurate. Uh, brides can totally not run in dresses. That's why they always rip their dresses. So, but she's still wearing heels. Usually, the, they do two things: they rip their dress, and, or they take off their heels, and they take off their heels. Uh, but at the very least, they gotta raise it up. So she's doing that. Look how thick her gown is. Do you see how much fabric this girl's like? Do you see how big, how much fabric she's like grabbing on? How much layers is she wearing? Yeah, it almost looks like there's a pee pee in there and she's grabbing it through the fabric. Oh. Well, hopefully we'll get to see it in the other art then. Mm -hmm. Also, she's also shaved her armpits because it's, uh, sorry, wax her armpits because it's super, super clean. Um, but yeah, nice feet. Just her face. Like, I'm so not attracted because of the face. Oh, she opened her mouth. I'm shaking oh. my head. <laughs> There's a lot of me? petals you, everywhere. You, are you kidding? No, 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 no. No! She just, she's just opened her mouth. It's like she's yelling, and then there's like crosses and petals everywhere. Oh my god. Wow, this is like some of the best special art I've ever seen. Do you want this to be our uh, Discord icon? No. 
<laughs> Do you want this to be our Discord icon? No. I think it would be so <laughs> funny. <laughs> it looks so bad. She almost looks like that Pikachu meme where his eye, like, his eyes are just wide open, and his mouth just is open. Oh man. Okay. What do you guys think of that face? I think it might be our server icon because it looks so bad. I think it might be Ephraim in a dress. Oh, <laughs> I can, I can actually see that. Oh. Okay, the face looks right now. Oh. Is it because oh, she's in her back. here? Oh, her back. She's competing for best back. Okay, best back, best back competitor number number four today. Number number two today actually. But um, shit. Her shoulder blade. Is okay, her, I don't know what the, it's different about her face, but it looks right. It looks right. Man. It Maybe looks we're right just when she's uh, cowering in fear or in complete horror, right? I think it's because we're dominant males, and we when we're, whenever we see a girl like that, we see. Oh no, I'm not a dom. I can be either one. <laughs> I think everybody knew you were you were sub amps. <laughs> Well, they also know you're a sub, too. I am not a sub. You, all right. you guys sub each other all the time. No, we don't. You can't have two subs together. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, what what, what would even get done? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh, you hit me. No, you hit me. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, somehow you two make it work. All right, but she has, she has nice, nice likes. This this looks right. This is my favorite favorite piece of art, uh, art from her, actually. Slightly I bet you want this as the server icon. Huh? I bet you want this as the server icon. No, but look, look, guys. It gets lost a lot, but she does have a fine ass. I I don't really see it that oh well. God. It kind of looks flat. Oh my god, she's supposed to be one of the like Potter girls in Radiant Dawn. I mean, do you see anything there? Yes, I really don't. Yes, I do. She definitely looks like one of the you hottest You know how thick the dress <laughs> is. Look at how thick the dress is. It's literally like, you know, the depth of a cock. It's 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 thick. She totally oh. has a big ass. All right, come on. She totally doesn't have a big ass. It's just the layers that oh make my... look big. Oh, just, just play Radiant Dawn. Tell me she doesn't have a big ass afterwards. I played Radiant Dawn, but I don't remember much from her. Oh yeah, we gotta read the stuff. We didn't get it to like, what, part and, four? Yeah, this is funny. If she comes out, you gotta train her up and then use her for like the final few chapters and, and she and she's not even great. Yeah. A lot of people didn't use her. She's not well, actually At least you can use her in this game. Sigrun is commander of the Holy Guard of Banyan. Yes, but now she's taking charge of Bridal Festival with her fabulous outfit. Hey, she looks pretty good like this. This is actually a custom made outfit. Sewn specifically for the festivals. They did a great job of nailing her look, didn't they? Wait a second. According to this, she's wearing something on her back. This is totally false. Yeah. Boo. Not accurate. Boo. Wait, we should check. Wait. It might be accurate. We might be dumb. Oh, no, no. It might be accurate because it might be the, the see-through cloak thing. Oh, it is. It is. It, oh, is. it was accurate. just uh, torn off or misplaced or something. Okay, we dumb. She's always we served dumb. as... Yeah. 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 She's always served as Apostle Sonic's right hand, but now she's taking the starring role in style. Guys, literally, Sonic doesn't have any friends. These are these are her closest things to friends. Tanith and Sigrun. Oh, look at her. Look at her. She's so elegant, holding her sword like a Yandere. Uh, uh, wait a second. This looks a bit demonic. Look at look at Sonic. It's the big forehead sisters. Yeah. No. Something they share in. No, I'm just saying Sonic, he looks weird. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Sigrun is a, loyal, is a loyal knight who has supported Sonic through thick and thin. If she really got married, imagine what a pillar of strength she'd be for her lucky partner. She is. She would be a totally great wife. Anyway, Sonic, Empress of Banyan, an apostle who can hear the voice of the goddess. Oh, crap. I don't want to spoil that. She inherited the throne from her grandmother, Mish Misha, at the very young age of five. She's a Lego. And Har, Sigrun's former comrade of many years, he now serves as Dragon Master in Dane's army. He's a little spoiled by his obvious talents and tends to slack off a little. Wait, can they can those two get married? I don't remember anymore. I've always had Har marry Jill. 
I don't remember much from the paired endings of that game, except for Sworn and Ike. So. Yes, I remember that ending as well. They have three lovely children. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. It's been a while. Alright. Moving on. Final one is Hannah. Alright. She looks super regal. She's supposed to be a tomboy. Alright. Now, as I've said, I totally thought it was a guy for a brief moment when I first saw her. Wait, you said she was flat. Oh. That does not look flat to me. She's yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not flat. She's supposed... Okay, Sigrun's supposed to be a lot thicker and more busty than she is. But in, in this game... this was a man? No, I, I told you. It was through my peripheral vision. I didn't get a direct look at her. Well, Amp still did. I, I did, but that's because when they first showed them, you could mostly only see the face. That's because Amps is gender confused. He still thinks he's a guy, which is weird. All right, but oh. <laughs> she looks really good. I, I love there's something about hair that length. Um, I'm so I, I, I totally did care that length. She looks super good. And her, her eyes are her, her dresses. I think it's exactly like. um. Sick, uh, what's her name? Sigrun? Uh, it's it's sicko. Sicko, yeah, she's going sicko mode. Sick nut, right? Sick nut, yeah. Sick yeah, nut, that's yes. That's what you said at first, right? Yeah. I, I fucked up because I was remembering something else. <laughs> okay, anyways, she looks great. Piercing blue eyes matches the flower on her head. That choker matches whatever she's wearing on her head. She has a really nice collarbone, just like other girls. Um, she, her face still doesn't look completely right to me, but looking at it again, it actually looks better. Than I thought. I didn't remember. Uh, the bouquet of flowers. She's holding up. Same kind of dress. Um, she's slimmer because she's not as thick. I don't think you guys realize that. Uh, I don't know. She's kind of got huge boobs. She has yeah, huge boobs for does. some reason in this game. Maybe there's like a padding or something. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's true. Girls wear padding. Especially for wedding. Yeah. That's right. I've never ever never. ran into that situation, guys. But I, I would imagine, like, imagine you hook up with this girl and then, and then, and then you get it on, and then you, you see it's padding, and and it's too late. You're, 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 you're already there. <laughs> Wait, what? I said, and then you find out she's a guy. Oh, that's even worse. No, she's bigger than you. Oh, 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 oh no. All right. This attack pose doesn't really look that impressive, guys, to be honest. No, I yeah. think I've seen it before in many other yeah. lands here. Yeah, kind of lame. Mouth open because... Amps, fill it in for me. Um, Because she's ready to attack and she's screaming, Yar! No, it starts with P. Oh, she's sucking PP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he would say it. All right, no, but seriously, uh, this looks super plain, so I'm just gonna goof around. Um, nice assets shown. I guess you kind of see her armpits. Her shoulders more accentuated. Her fingers look pretty, but let's be clear, she's about to stab someone with a bunch of flowers. So I, I, I have no idea how effective that's gonna be. Hey, yeah, there might be like a spearhead under those flowers. Oh. <laughs> or those flowers are just really sharp. Or. Oh, if it's a spearhead, you realize she's about to dye those flowers red. That's oh kind of messed up. Kind of romantic, you know. Does it, look the the button of the of the lance kind of reminds me of a chandelier. Yeah, she's literally using it a lamp is what it feels like. Moving on, is she is she gonna have a good special, guys? We've had having a good special all day long. Well, she has boring art, so yeah, let's hope uh, so. It's, it's your... The the um the artist for this game is actually for sorry not this game there's so many artists the artist for her actually looks super simple. Uh, that was the boss battle theme. We are not playing that. Sorry, we'll go back to three houses. All right, but. Yeah, she looks super angry, and I, I don't know, I, I think this is kind of bad. 
she, there, there she, oh, she actually has both feet showing the toe, oh, whatever, I don't really care anymore. Maybe, maybe her, oh. her, her, oh. her. Okay. Once yeah, again, just like Sigrun, the best part of her art is the hurt art. And this. Oh, there's a little sliver there. I see it. I'm sorry. I just like that way, way too much. She's hot. Body's hot. I guess this face is not bad too. I don't know. And uh, you can you can see from this heart. What? She didn't pad her uh, stuff. Oh, she didn't pad. You're right. Look at it. It's actual boob. All right. No, she's thick in this game. All right. But no, the the absolute zone with the guard belt. Hot. <laughs> She actually has pretty nice looking feet and legs. Anyways, Anyways to the feet. I, I like how she looks. But yeah, let's let's read her. Actually, I'm I'm not that much of a fan of her other arts, but her hurt art, best part of her art. Fourth right heart, Tanith. She's never getting married. Tanith is scared. Oh wait, the heck! They don't even try. They just went for standard look from the games. This is what she looks like in the games, guys. In chibi form, anyways. But she. Oh, that's a dude. Yeah. She's supposed to be a tomboy. She she doesn't try being a girl at all. Tanith is a gallant Pegasus Knight who serves as the deputy commander of the Holy Guard of Benyon. Stern and steadfast, she's as strict with herself as she is with others. But that might change a little now that she's showing up for the festivities in her beautiful wedding dress. Aww. You can tell she's shy about this because she probably has never done it. Hey, she's still wearing her headband. I just noticed that. Oh, she's wearing her headband. Man, her boobs are boobs and thighs are too distracting. Um, Tana's outfit for the bridal festival has an elegant yet dignified design that's just perfect for her. Absolutely, she looks very angry. When a couple truly loves one another, they'll forgive each other's flaws. I've heard that Tanith is not the best cook, but no matter. Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. Sigrun's a much better cook. That's why I'm saying she's not actually a really good woman. But that that has maybe, to charm. Maybe her and Sigrun get married. You know that there's a lot of. I'm pretty sure there's some very oh. art about that. Yeah, people, people are down for that. You're down for that. Hey. Maybe Sonic is their child. All right. Anyways, Empress Venyon. Absolutely can hear it. La la. We read that. The commander of the Holy Guard Venyon. She's the commander of Tanith. Comrade of Tanith, who's faithfully served Sonic. All right. We're done. Uh, it's getting long. We, we this is the longest hero art check ever. We've we've gone over fifty minutes. It's because we talked a lot about Fjorm. Yes, oh. Fjorm took ten minutes by herself. Now chat, and of course, you two bozos, best to worst. Let's hear it. I, I think uh, Luis is the best. Exactly. And afterward, I would put Pent, Fjorm, Tanith, Sigrun. Mm. Amps. Uh, I, I agree with almost everything he said. So Luis is first, Pent second, Yorm third, and fourth. Actually, no, never mind. I agree with this list. Yeah, basically, I go Luis, Fjorm. Um. Really? I think Pent looks a lot better than Fjorm. I go yeah, Pent I think, third. I think I'm Pent's sorry. A bit hotter, you know? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I'm biased. You just there. think of their PP first. I think of my PP first, and then and then Tanith Sigrun. All right, that's it. That's it. That's your hero art viewing. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. If you really liked it, subscribe. If you liked it even more than that, I, I don't know. There's We don't have a Patreon or anything like that. Give me money. Give me money. Join Discord. Join Discord.